Hello and welcome everyone to this installation tutorial of the Tableau Fans commenting extension. So in the next couple of minutes I will show how you can actually get the Tableau Fans commenting extension up and running on your very own machine. So the latest blog post I've done is that one. And within that blog post you will find three download links. So the first one actually is the two extensions, which you should put into the My Tableau repository slash extension. Then you have the whole XAMPP where the web server is installed, as well as the MySQL database, which you need to put actually the comments in there. And last but not least, you get two workbooks, which allow you to test if these extensions in step one do work properly. So I've already done that. So on the right hand side within the downloads folder, you see that I just downloaded all these three different files. And now let's put them into the folders which are already explained within the blog post. So therefore, let's switch to documents, my Tableau repository and extensions. And that's where you put like the very first two files into. Right, so you have the two T-Rex files, and those two T-Rex files will later on point to the extension within the XAMPP. For those of you who are not aware of XAMPP, it's basically um, a packaged system which includes, like I've already said, like an Apache web server as well as uh, a MySQL database, and also uh, the extension itself in, in my example. So therefore, like I explained that within the tutorial, the blog post, just extract the XAMPP directly into your C local disk folder. That will take some time. So once the XAMPP is fully extracted, you can go in there and simply start the XAMPP controller. Please do that as an administrator, just to make sure that you have the rights to run them. And um, if it's running, open up a new browser window and say localhost and then four times eight, because if it's running properly, you should see this. And if you go to PHP my admin, uh, there should be a database called your SQL database, which the extension will use while you're typing in comments. So this one over here. And uh, yeah, just out of curiosity, you don't need to drill into it. So the Superstore Europe dataset is the dataset we're doing, we are creating our comments on. The commenting extension contains like most of the interesting parts, including like the history of all the comments. And the last status, like the name is already saying it, is just storing the last status for an object you commented on. Okay, so that was the second last step. The very last step is really to extract the two workbooks. You can simply put them into your desktop folder uh, in order to test the extensions. So simply open them up. And there are two different ones. So there's like a basic one, which is like a non-styled version of the extension. And then the normal one, which is the styled version, which you already saw in the background of my desktop uh, as well. And um, just give it a couple of seconds to open up. So here you go. And the username and the password for my SQL database is admin admin. And once you're typing that in, the dashboard is ready to go. On the lower left, you're seeing that you need to drag and drop the commenting extension into it. So therefore, go to the extensions, drop it into that very same container, and then say my extensions, where you choose the extension from. And then within my Tableau repository, the extensions, that's exactly where we put our stuff into and then open up the basic version of the extension. And this pop-up simply says, well, you have an extension which takes its logic from localhost, extension API master, my extensions, and then Tableau Fence common extension and an HTML file called basic HTML. So once you're doing that, 
you can get rid of the comment and go into full screen. And uh, you're seeing that the data already contains three comments. So on the lower right, you're seeing all the comments you have done before. On the top right, you're seeing the comments based on your selection, right? So this one is currently selected. If I deselect it, you won't see anything. If you select this one, you see there's one comment which, which you left here. So let's create a new comment on this order ID. Let's simply say, well, we open up a ticket and let's say there's a software issue going on or a sales issue, whatever it is. Uh, it's just an example for making a comment on something. It could be anything. Now you're seeing the UI change, right? It's now yellow as a comment exists as part of that. And now we could also switch to that second version of it. So we're not just having the basic one, but the styled one. It uses the very same connection. It just has a different CSS file to let the extension itself look nicer. So therefore, let's again drag and drop the extension to the top right. That's where it's um, located within that, within that dashboard. And let's choose the other file, the other T-Rex file, which points to the index HTML, rather to the basic HTML. And just one last thing you want to do uh, next to getting rid of the comment where to drag the drop extension to is you see that the shadow does not perfectly fit here. So simply select the extension, go to layout and get rid of the padding because the outer padding gets added to a um, object automatically. Now we can go back to full screen. You see that there's already a comment I've done a couple of seconds ago. Let's simply add a new comment. Let's say it's still open. And uh, at this time, we're saying uh, problem still exists. And I'm submitting that. And you will see that the color itself does not change as the status is the same, but you're seeing there's a new comment uh, as part of the table on the lower right. Okay, that's everything you need for the installation. I hope you're enjoying it, and I'm really looking forward to your feedback. Thank you.